so um the farewell Corey or farewell Finn episode of Glee finally came to last night let me start off by saying how I first got into Glee and then I'll start saying why I didn't make a video last night about it all right I got into Glee um, a lot of people don't know with the Britney episode Britney Spears got me into Glee and I was faithfully watching it after that I haven't timed it on my DVR I miss I miss the original Gleeks and I know they're not supposed to be in high school for nine years they're not Dora the Explorer okay so I knew that they would move on and bring into the new kids and that's kind of when I start falling off because um, I got attached to the original kids and I like the way Ryan had put everybody um, together but not together you get what I'm saying so Rachel and Kurt went to school and everybody just dispersed I missed Amber Amber I mean um, Mercedes that's the one I really missed and when I seen her come back today when they first came to together they brought the Asian dude back I totally forgot about him and Mercedes when I see Mercedes I'm like, ah, that voice is so big does she know that but that was a powerful segment it all started powerful and I like the way Ryan didn't um, have Rachel in the beginning um, because I think it was just like two weeks before they started filming that that was the first episode before the Beatles you know so that's what I was like kind of confused at and but I didn't like the I didn't want him to start it like Rachel answering the phone like what Rachel answering the phone at the restaurant and found out that her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend or what they were called on the show um, died. I didn't like it like that. Ryan did it so perfectly. Didn't introduce Rachel in the last 15 minutes by getting on that later. Um, let me talk about why I didn't make a video last night. Because I had food poisoning, y'all. I was throwing up and shitting for like seven, no, I lied, for like three hours straight. I didn't know what I was throwing up because I didn't eat until like 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. came and you know Glee on Eastern Standard Time comes at 9 p.m. So I'm like, you know, I'm having my, you know, lemon juice, organic lemon juice and water. I'm just like chilling, watching um, Vampire Diaries and I'm just like, you know, just chilling and then suddenly I get this little feeling I'm like, whoa. And I don't like throwing up. I'm a drama queen when I throw up. I don't like throwing up. That's just me. But it had to come out it came out there was it came out over here so much that it had to go down too so I'm like I had to get a trash can with the bathtub okay no that because I'm not shitting in the trash can I had, every time I took a shit I had to make sure the trash can was right there so I can throw up because my bathtub is right there my toilet's right there so I couldn't you know I'm not a damn giraffe so I couldn't just you know you know and all the stuff but I was throwing up waterfalls y'all it was not funny that was the first time I've ever had that and I I had this my mind was discombobulated and I took a nap at 9 p.m. out of all the times in the world Whew. all right I had to get that out that was the first time that I had food poisoning man and I do not wish that on my worst enemy okay but Glee yeah when they first came on man I was like Oh yes. I'm not I'm not saying, oh, this is gonna be a good episode. I'm just saying yes, they brought, you know, some of the originals back. And speaking of, why didn't they bring Quinn back? What was up with that? Or the dude with the dress that won the um oxygen um competition that was on oxygen. Um who wants to be Glee? If you guys some of you guys remember that. But if you're a Glee and watching this, you know who I'm talking about. But the other thing is the the cross dresser dude um he lost the competition on oxygen suddenly he's on the show and he's been on like a recurring role so I don't, know, I don't understand but you know I guess that's not important the mom the mother speech I must have missed out on this because I did I do have the first season the complete first season I must have missed out on this because um I didn't know that Kurt and Finn were brothers you know, I didn't know that. And um, the mom, though, when she was, you know, packing the stuff and on the on the floor, 
just crying her eyes out. I thought I wouldn't cry until I see Rachel because I feel like I'm more connected to Rachel for, you know, personal reasons. Um, but when I seen her cry, that speech, her acting, or I'm not going to say acting, I mean, but her herself, her words about a mom losing a kid or her child. How can they wake up? How can they breathe? She always wanted to know that. And I was just like right here with the, um, my blanket and I was like, shit, that was so powerful. That was like real words. And I think I'm using powerful as much as Brittany used amazing on X Actor. But still, nevertheless, yeah, but Santana, she blew me away. Um, her, her, when she went off on Sue <laughs> in that office, that's what I was thinking. You can do anything to her. Santana, you can do anything to Sue. She's not your principal anymore. What's she going to do? Expel you? Right. So when she pushed her into a train, I ran to my bathroom like she ran. I'm outside that office. I'm Puck taking the tree. Yeah. When he was talking to the coach, I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of awkward in that locker room. It was at first because I was like, it felt like they had a pause. Y'all get what I'm saying? Maybe I'm the only one. But it felt like, it felt kind of forced at first. But, you know, you never know. But when they sat down on the bench, I needed that laugh. It was like, we're in like 35 minutes in already. Oh, well, 30 minutes in. And this is when I first like really laughed. And I needed that. So thank you, coach. And thank you, Puck. When Puck took that tree and said, I took it because it was small. It wasn't big enough to represent Finn. And the coach was like, they do grow, you know. Oh. <sighs> Y'all should've been there. Y'all should've been there. Santana saying, um, if I die young, and when she's saying that, I, did, I didn't cry on that, but um, when she's saying that, you know that when people start singing on Glee, that the audio would, because they record the songs in studio. <laughs> I'm not acting like a genius right now, y'all. So I'm not acting like y'all don't know. I'm just making sure that everybody knows. So, but <clears throat> when they start playing that track, you know, they're lip syncing. I think they have the choice of lip syncing. They're just muting the audio of um, the actual live footage. But when she was singing that and at the end, she was like crying and I thought the track was going to keep on going. I thought Ryan Murphy would have, you know, just kept that because people that watching this and people that are in that studio know that it's real. This is real life, you know. So, um, yeah, that didn't happen, though. But that really tripped me out when she was like, oh, no, no. I don't know if I'm wrong for laughing, but sometimes I can laugh. So, you know, give me a break, Kit Kat. Um, but this about the coat. I really thought Rachel took the coat. Now, Rachel didn't come in the scene until 40 minutes later. And, but when she did, when she did, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, ah, Rachel. And I knew Rachel was gonna be there because I've seen the previews, but still, that's besides the point. She was like, you know, homegirl, the cheerleader, one of the Cheerios were like, okay, this is cheesy. You know, putting the flower and putting, um, you know, the collage, the, remembrance um, on the floor in the lockers and she was like this is cheesy and then <laughs> Rachel like appears and no it's beautiful and I was like oh, Rachel and as soon as I got into ah, ding, that means this going to commercial I'm like oh let me get my Kleenex let me get my throw because this is going to be fire I knew she was going to sing um, to make you feel my love and I love that song since Adele sang it and I know Adele's not the original singer, but I don't think she is. But I fell in love with that song. So during the preview last week, I rewound that clip, that 30 second clip, every time for numerous of times. And to actually see her sing that, I started crying. I started, started crying with Mercedes, started crying with Kurt, started crying with the new kids. I mean, like, we were together as one. But, you know, it's it's just crazy. Rachel, Miss Leah, Michelle. Oh, I just, y'all just don't know how connected we are. I don't think she does, but um, she did good. 
I mean, I don't know if that's an understatement, but I don't know if I should say she did good because she 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 gave it her all for something to happen so fresh to somebody so close to her, you know, in real life and on the show. So um, her movements, her voice, everything, y'all, I was crying with her. And I, if that was me, I would have been like, too many and just started crying and just like forget like cut Ryan cut cut it can't do it look give me a break give me a break give me a minute give me a minute this episode y'all this this will forever be in my heart yeah um I don't know if I'm gonna get into Glee more um that's what I wanted to see I, I mean I didn't want Finn, Corey or Finn to pass but um, I wanted everybody together. I'm still attached to the original crew. And if Mercedes and Santana. And where's Brittany? I know she was pregnant. So I get, Well, whatever. Um, but I still want to know where Quinn was. You know. Uh, Alright. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think that's it. Alright. So what did you think about Glee? Alright. Let me know in your comments. And. Um, oh. Sue cried. And speaking of. I did not know. That she could cry. I didn't know she had a crying bone in her body. 